Hey, it's Andrew Scaglione with Radio Cloud. By the end of this video, you'll know how to import and schedule various elements in our software, ranging from music logs to traffic logs and commercial spots. And while Radio Cloud doesn't have its own built-in music scheduling or traffic scheduling system, all we ask is for a log export of your music or commercial log. We read that in Radio Cloud, and that's how we build out the playlist. So the way you can check how updated you are on your imports of music logs is by going to the playlist section over here and clicking on this playlist music import button. This is going to pull up the most recent music log that was imported. So for this station, about a week ago, they uploaded the next week's worth of logs. And you can see the hour of the day that this coincides to, of course, starting with the 12 a.m. or midnight hour. The cumulative time as you scroll down the log, you can see every hour it, it grows and grows until you get up to you know 23.59 or 11.59 p.m. The ID, which is how we match up those elements to the log, say you exported from Selector or Music Master. We match up the audio files, which are stored in Radio Cloud, to the ID numbers that are in Music Master or Selector or your preferred scheduling system. And then that's how we build out the playlist in Radio Cloud. You'll also see artist and title as well. So what happens now that we have the playlist in Radio Cloud? We also have already built out clocks. Now the clocks are basically just telling the system, follow this structure for the specific hour. Of course, that's what your scheduling system is doing as well. So the clocks are sometimes as simple as follow Music Master or follow Selector. So we take the log, we take the clock, and then those combined create the playlist, which looks something like this. It's just a more graphical representation of what we just saw. You still have your jingles, you still have your songs, and depending on the station, a lot more local elements as well. Now on the traffic side of things, if we go back to this dropdown in the playlist section and click traffic log, it's the same thing. We give you a folder where you can upload your traffic log to. And if we just flip over to a different station, you'll be able to see a similar layout. You have the hour of the day, the time in that hour that your traffic spots or traffic breaks are happening. And then the really interesting part is that you can actually set which spot break your elements and commercials are playing in. For example, if you have one break per hour, it's going to be all number one. If you have two, three, or four per hour, you can actually click this drop down and then pick which break your spots are going to run in. The other cool thing is that you can pick sponsorships. Say you have a sports report, a weather report, or a newscast running in your morning show and you have a local business that sponsored that, and they have commercials running on your station, but they only want them to run adjacent to, either in front of or behind, whatever they're sponsoring, whether it's news or weather or even sports. You can come to the dropdown when you find their ad in your commercial log, and then click one of these options down here, weather, local news, or one of the other ones. Maybe it's a traffic report. So that's how you can use the traffic log to your advantage and to your advertising client's advantages. Same thing though, you see the ID which we match up, the artist title, which is just how the client chooses to name these spots, and then the duration, mostly 60s and 30s, which in this case are displayed in milliseconds. Now what those look like in the playlist, if we go to one of our other clients, we're gonna scroll down to an hour later in the day, and as you see, there's your jingles, your voice tracks, your songs, and now there's these red elements here. And these red lines in the playlist are the spot break and the ads. So everything runs out of the cloud. Everything runs right out of Radio Cloud. And we just ask you to upload your music logs and your traffic logs. We read those and we build out your playlist exactly like that. And don't worry, if you have a music scheduling system or a traffic scheduling system that we haven't integrated with yet, it's as easy as sending us a log. And then within a few days, you'll have the ability to import and schedule all of your elements in Radio Cloud. To find out more about features like that in our platform, head to our website, radio.cloud. And stick around on all of our social media channels for the latest content and updates. <laughs>